What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Today we are taking a look at this right here. This is the GLI Net Slate AXT1800. This is a Wi Fi 6 device here, and we're going to take a look at it next on Geekazine. Hey, everybody, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in the Geek. And uh, today we're taking a look at this. Un we're going to unbox and we're going to set up the Slate AX. Now, this is a great router. I always have at my hand the slate now this is the wi-fi 5 model of the slate i've been using this for many years to do many different types of productions so basically i use it as a router i use it for my hotel because then i can port it through the wi-fi i've got some protection here before we continue on i, I do have to let you know that i did purchase the axt 1800 with my own funds because i wanted to update my router nobody's sponsoring this video and of course i have a full review policy as to how i review products and sponsored products as well over at geekazine.com forward slash review you can check it out there if you've got a product that you want me to review feel free to contact me and we can get that set up. Let's take a look at all the specs. So this is the AXT1800 wireless router, <laughs> Wi-Fi 6. It's got, it's a router, it's an extender, it's a repeater. It's got VPN functionality to it. It's got USB power, uh, one gigabit ethernet ports. There's three of them. And depending on how you have it set up, you can use them all as peer to peers or one as a WAN connection. The other two as a LAN connection. And it's got 120 device connection. This could be anything from computers to, uh, to cameras to anything. And that's another cool thing I can do with this. I get one of those regular, you know, like a wise camera or something like that. I can set that up in my hotel room and I can have this sending out to cloud through this so I can see if anybody's in my room. And that gives me some added security if you wanted to. But normally what I do is I have my Mac mini, which is headless, doesn't have a keyboard or mouse. And then I remote into it through my MacBook Pro. And by doing that, I use this. That way it stays off the general Wi-Fi and I can uh, I can do what I need to do. And then if I need to send out through the hotel Wi-Fi, I can set it up and go from there. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I'm very excited because, you know, I, I'm, I wanted to get the Wi-Fi 6 version for a little while now, and now I've got it, so that should help me. And the best part about this is I can set this one up as a repeater now, so I can bring them both with me and really improve the signal. I can do a lot of different things with it, so. All right, let's go ahead and get this open. There we go. Down like this. There we are. We're going to start with uh, basic documentation right there. We've got the router, and then we're going to open this up so we get some cables here. This looks like to be a power cable, and then we've got a standard Ethernet cable right there. And then this is the uh, well, this is the US plug. The power wart is 5 volts, 4 amps. So that means that it's going to need a pretty good power source to uh, keep that going. So there we've got the wart, we've got the Ethernet cable. Let's go ahead and open up this guy right here and show you what we've got. All right. There it is right there. First of all, I want to show you the difference between the slates. This is the Slate 7, the one I've had for many years now. And this is the new AX model. So it's a little bit bigger uh, from the front there. It's a little bit bigger. But of course, Wi-Fi 6, we got more functionality, I think so. All right, let's see what we got here. On the, I don't see anything on the side. We got nothing on the bottom, that's just basically the vent. We got the wireless antennas right here on both sides. On this side, we've got a spot for an SD card. So you can actually set this up and you know, have storage on here. You can either do it through the SD card or you can do it through the USB, which we'll show you in a second here. And then you'll have a uh, file repository. So it, if people are taking video, for example, I need to uh, send it to a drive, offload it, so I can go back out and take more pictures or video or anything like that. You could have this as the storage area to offload it to. On the other side here, we have reset button and an AB switch. Another cool feature with these routers 
is that I can actually set it up for two types of modes. So I could have on A side of the mode, I could have this as my router set up and ready to go. Flip the switch to the B side, and all of a sudden it's an extender. And then you can actually extend the Wi-Fi signal up a little bit more from your network. And then flip it, and then you can take this on travel with you, all set up with security, so you can do your surfing, you can do your emails or whatever, through this guy right here. All right, back over here. So we had the switches right there. Let's take these antennas down. This is the uh, this is the heart and the soul, and that's in the back. We've got our USB-C input. That's for our plug right here. We've got a USB 3.0, USB-A right here. So this is where you can plug in an external drive or anything like that. And then you have three one gig ethernet ports. This one will be the WAN if you have it set up as a router and these two the LAN, or you can set it up so all three of these are LANs and then just run it as a switch. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook this up to a computer and then we're gonna configure it. All right, before I get that set up, I have a USB-C standard C cable that I have plugged into the computer that I'm recording this off of. I'll just plug this in. And as you can see, it does light up. I don't know how well it works, but I will definitely be testing that as we go. We are now back in here uh, for the setup screen for the wireless router. So basically what would happen, you turn on the router, you plug it into Ethernet or wireless, then you connect up to it. Uh, there's always defaults here. Uh, I have it wired into this machine. Uh, so you can see what's going on. So once we turn it on, we go to 192.168.8.1 and uh, we're just gonna go through configuration saying, hey, we're gonna say next. You wanna set up a new admin password and we'll just say, I'm gonna reset this after a while. So, and maybe it won't let me do that because they like to have a little bit more security in there. Minimum 10 characters, letters, so, so we'll go, there we go. And we'll hit apply. It's going to set that up. This looks exactly like my slates, uh, my other slate does. Um, so what you can see is we have no WLAN clients or, or WAN clients because I don't have anything hooked up to the device. We have one clan, one LAN client hooked up, and that's this machine right here. We can set this up as a repeater so I can get Wi-Fi from the house. Uh, and then I can uh, say, oh, use that Wi-Fi to bring it in and this will act as a repeater. I can tether it to my phone. You can also set up a cellular modem and plug that into the USB. There's no SIM slot for the cell cellular modem in there, so you'll have to actually get a modem to plug in there. And then of course, once again, you can plug Ethernet and the WAN into the LAN and then you're out and you're good to go. Up here, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, they, they give you everything that you need to know about about your system right here. Like for instance, how to plug in the ethernet, how to create the repeater, how to do the tethering cellular. If you're on what wireless you yours have set up right there, uh, 2.4 gig, five gig. And the best thing about Wi-Fi 6 is the new protocol that basically says it doesn't matter if it's 2.4 or five gig, it's still the same SSID. All right, it looked like my wireless microphone went out after this, so we're gonna speed this up. Basically, there's a lot of settings, a lot of different things that you can do with this GL iNet router. Uh, everything from setting up IP addresses, static IP addresses, being able to connect it up, uh, switching it over as the extender through the software. There are a ton of plugins that you can get to download and put into the machine into the router so you can have it do whatever you want. If it's just a standalone router, you're using it for demonstration, for example, at a trade show, then you can pack everything into that router and then make it feel like it's the internet or an AI bot or anything like that. And that's the best part about this thing. Uh, so lots of different settings. I'm gonna let you explore that on your own. We got network uh, things. Uh we got network setups, like if we can set up our firewall. Multi-WAN, if you've got two internet connections, you want to set it up so it comes in here and then you can use it as one internet connection, which is a great little feature. You can set up your LAN, you can set up DNS, network mode, you can change it to IPv6 for even more 
network connections. You can set this up as a translator from IPv6 to IPv4 out to the internet. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. This is where you schedule your tasks. Like uh, there's one thing that says LED uh, display schedule. So you can have the LED lights on this router going, but at 10 o'clock when you're asleep, turn off those lights. That is basically what's inside the GLINet router here. And like I said, it hasn't really changed too much from when I was first using the slate. So it's a very easy interface to get through. And that's it for now. Uh, of course, I'm going to be running through its paces. So ran it through its paces. Basically, I set it up exactly like my Slate 7 was. It's actually plugged into my network now and running the uh, studio system here. I also took it out with me to a show. So basically, I set up a couple cameras, uh, recorded a uh, band, and then used the Wi-Fi 6 to basically run these. These are wireless cameras. It went really seamless. I used the USB for power, and it kept the thing powered. I think if you put in 120 devices, devices, the maximum amount, you're definitely going to need that uh, wall work over a USB power system. But of course, if you've got it hooked up to a good laptop or desktop, I think you'll have more than enough power to run this wireless router. Of course, keep in mind, if the power goes out on your laptop, goes out on your uh, desktop, then of course you lose the uh, you lose the router. It, there is a little bit of cycle up time when you turn it on. I'd say give it about a minute to 90 seconds for it to fully get into gear before you start connecting things up. Uh, like for instance, if I connected up this camera and then turned on the Wi-Fi router, the camera doesn't get the IP address. So then it gets all confused. I have to turn off the camera, turn it back on. Little things like that. Ultimately, it worked without any problems. I said, like I said, I set it up exactly like my previous slate was, and it worked flawlessly. I even gave it the IP addresses of all the devices that I use, because that's the idea of the travel router is to take it out with you and then have it set up with all your laptops and your cameras and whatnot at those specific IP addresses. So if you need to access them, they're easy. I told you about my headless Mac mini. If I didn't have a static IP address on that Mac mini, I could never connect to it. It would always be problematic. So that's why I do that. But you can run the slate however you want. You can run it once again as a Wi-Fi router. And then I'm super excited to run this as a one-two punch with my older slate because I, like I said, I can be in a room and I can use this as a repeater, use that as the router, and therefore it's extending my Wi-Fi signal. Well, that's it. That's the GLINet ATX1800 wireless router, travel router uh, for whatever you need. Take it everywhere with you. It's got the ability to be set up so you could have a secure connection from your computer to the internet. Yeah, it might slow down things a little bit more, but the security is the more important thing, I think, in the whole infrastructure. What are you going to be setting up your AXT 1800 for? Let me know in the comments down below over on geekazine.com, of course, youtube.com forward slash geekazine, where you can like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification. And you know, every time you do that, YouTubers get their wings proven fact. Till next time, you guys geek out and get your Wi-Fi on with the GL iNet AXT 1800.